from my vantage point at my house, it looked like it was in town, the tornado did. It was huge. And I could see debris coming up. It looked like it was hitting where the school and the football field was. The school was completely full because they had a volleyball tournament. All three gyms were full. There was over a thousand people in the, in the school system that day. Madison County Ambulance Director Tad Davis was watching from his house on the north side of town. Thankfully, the school was spared. But for Davis, this storm was about to turn personal. I have a friend that lives out on 169 right on Carver. The family were in the direct path of the EF4 tornado. I told him to call him and tell him to get in the basement bad storms coming. The only thing left was a furnace and gun safe in his basement. Everything else was sucked out of there. They had a few bump and bruises, but you know, they survived. As Davis was in the command center, his paramedics were on their way to help. We had some young EMTs that never experienced and paramedics that never experienced a mass casualty in an incident like this. His team found widespread devastation. When somebody's trapped, you want to get them out right away. Well, this is a prolonged rescue scene. It was like way over an hour because from the road up to the house was probably an eighth of a mile. And they had to go crawl through the timber over trees, down a creek, up a ravine to, to bring all the equipment up there and then carry the people back. Davis's team pulled eight people from the rubble and transported three of them to the hospital. So it was very physical and mentally stressful.